what's up guys how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fantastic you guys i'm doing fine uh thank you so much for clicking on this video in case this is your first time my name is Massey, and i make content around homekeeping food cleaning and all that and um for today's video we are going i'm going to show you my meal plan for october <laughs> i know guys october is almost over but this is uh the moment that i've gotten to just shoot this video because it was a long 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 month anyway um you if you've been here for even a second guys you know how much i love meal planning and i love to speak about it because it helps busy moms to just get their life in order <laughs> when it comes to food and generally just reduces food uh, stress on the whole issue of food is there enough shopping and everything that is related to that so today i prom as i promised you i'm going to be sharing with you my meal timetable for the month of october of course this is going to go up to november because now the month is almost over and if i have done another video on the same but the meal timetable was different so in case uh you want a variety of just knowing how to do the planning around your food you can check out the other video and if you you're totally green when it comes to meal planning there are a few steps that you can use so number one you go through your fridge and your pantry to check what you already have and write it down so that when you're doing your shopping you don't buy things that you already have to avoid wastage okay number two you check for recipes maybe online or recipe books or wherever you get your recipes from and just noting down the ingredients that you might need for the specific food that you're cooking and then now you make the uh, shopping list for the things that you need for the meal planning so it's just an easy process so that whole process just helps you to make sure you have all the ingredients that you need so that now when you come it comes to the real uh preparations of the meals and everything you don't miss anything okay so it's such a simple process and i've already done that and i've uh, gone ahead to make my meal timetable here so i'm just going to very quickly take you through so that you can you can actually copy me in case you are busy and you don't have time to really just sit down and plan <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video guys i hope you learn a thing or two in case you do please give this video a thumbs up it really really supports my channel and also it helps youtube know that you know this video is helping people like me so it suggests to more people so that they learn how to make uh, meal timetables and make their lives easier and also subscribe subscribe guys in case you haven't i'd really really appreciate that so yeah let's get to the meal timetable okay so guys i'm just going to take you through uh every single day just to read you through and uh a bit of explanation and feel free guys to just copy this is such a simple meal plan i feel it can apply to any family there is nothing complicated here and so feel free to copy and just apply it in your case okay uh so i have I've subdivided it into break uh, breakfast snacks and dinner so in my household whatever we take for dinner is the same thing we take for lunch okay mostly during lunch time is just myself and the baby so whatever we take for dinner is what i'm going to be taking for breakfast i mean lunch so that's why lunch is not indicated indicated here now let's begin on monday monday or for breakfast we are going to be having bread and sausage or bacon whichever is available and uh, tea so the constant for breakfast is either tea or coffee or uh, chocolate 
whatever someone is comfortable with really that's up to them <laughs> but mostly we do tea for baby nai and then for the little boy who is about eight years he takes uh mostly uh chocolate all right so that's breakfast for the snack of the day is yogurt dinner i'm going to be making mukimo and cabbage and when i write mukimo there are days other mondays i feel like I don't want to take mukimo. I just want the classic gaderi. That's what I go for. But the thing is, it's it's either gaderi or mukimo served with cabbage. On Tuesday, we take bread toast. So I usually buy like the big bread. Huh? <laughs> If you are from Central, you get that. So I buy the big bread. So we consume it on Monday and on Tuesday. So Tuesday we have uh, toast bread. And the snack for the day is porridge and a banana. Snacks, we always uh, take snacks at around 4.30 when Mike is back from school. Dinner for the day is rice, lentils, and steamed cabbage. So also for cabbage, I buy just one cabbage. Uh, so that we take it on Monday and on Tuesday then in Aisha because the rest of the day is akuna cabbage. And when I write lentils, it can either be kamande. It can be uh, dengu, it can even be beans, any whichever uh, uh, protein that we have. I mean, plant-based protein is what I'm going to I serve with the uh, rice. On Wednesday, we do mahamri or mandazi, <laughs> however you would want to call it. And then snack of the day, I make a smoothie that has a banana, avocado, and watermelon. That smoothie is ish. It's just the best. You guys, you should try it out in case you've uh, never tried. It's very sweet and very, very nutritious. For dinner, we do ugali, eggs, and kenyeji greens. So as you can see, the first three days, we have not taken any meats because guys i told you you're looking to save some cash in the kitchen you must reduce on your meat dishes but you can also see that it is balanced diet all through so it's good to note that difference um and apply it if you're looking to save some cash on thursday for breakfast we take pancakes and then snack i have motungo what do we call it? motungo is um corn that has been boiled okay i don't have another name for it <laughs> and uh, some fruits which is mostly watermelon watermelon it's like it's, it never goes out of season so it's very easy to get even in my neighborhood that's why it's appearing so many times so for dinner i do pilau or uh, chicken biryani plus veggies so it depends on my mood whether i want to cook chicken biryani or pilau whatever i'm in the mood for making but it's either pilau or chicken biryani so on friday we do either guache or doma plus eggs so whichever we have mostly we have guache guache is more uh we 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 have it more because it's easier it's everywhere but for ndoma i buy from a specific place and i'm not able to get every other week for the snack of uh, the day we have a smoothie and this smoothie i, I make using milk peanut uh, avocado and bananas dinner we have chapati dengu and spinach it's not a must uh, for us to serve dengu it can be any lentils if we had dengu on Tuesday, then on Friday we are going to have beans or kamande or uh, cowpeas or something different. But that's just a guide to help me know. So on Saturday, breakfast, we have chapo and tea. Snack, we have hash browns and fruits. Then for dinner, we have beef and pasta. Sunday... We have a breakfast cereal. It can either be oats, it can be Weetabix, it can be granola or cornflakes, whatever we have, but just breakfast cereals. I feel like on Sunday, we go to church very early in the morning and the lists, I, like I don't even have time to prepare the kids and cook complicated breakfast. So I just love to go with a very simple 
breakfast cereal because you only need milk and mix it. For the snack, we take the fruit salad. So whatever fruits that have remained from like the whole week, we just make a fruit salad and that's what we take as the snack for the day. For dinner, we have potato stir fry beef. So when I say potato, I might be in the mood for making roast potatoes or fries or I can make mashed potatoes or um, uh, what are they called? Those potatoes with a lot of <laughs> onions saute potatoes so uh, it's just potato with something so it, it will depend with my mood for the day whatever i feel like consuming that's what i consume also my day for uh eating out is usually on saturday so when there is money because we don't eat out every saturday by the way we don't eat out every saturday so when there is cash that's when i i take out maybe some pizza mostly pizzas because that's what the boys want and then if there's not enough money or it's not time to buy <laughs> we just do beef pasta so if you can look through that uh meal plan it's very simple it's easy to apply and guys feel free to copy i feel it can apply in so many of us for so many of us so feel free guys so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed that video i hope you found it helpful helpful <laughs> thank you so much for even reaching this point i'm grateful let me see you on my next video bye also guys share 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 sharing is caring so share it around with your friends with your colleagues yes and let's get to 5k bye